Blessed be thy name. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be thy name. Blessed be thy name. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. Honor to
that great God? Can we join the voices of heaven to worship him this morning? The God that brought us to cross the first five months of this year. He brought us by his grace, by his mercy into the month of June. Oh God, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you. The God that does not need man to be God. He is God from beginning to the end. We celebrate you. We celebrate you. We celebrate you. Lord, we celebrate you this morning. We celebrate you. We celebrate you. Lord, without man, you are God. You are God. You are God. Father, we just exalt you. It is a privilege for us to come before you this morning. We are grateful. Blessed be your name. 
in Jesus mighty name we have given thanks Amen. eternal father we worship you this morning we bring our praise we bring our worship before your throne this morning we want to say, Lord, that we acknowledge you as the Almighty. Whatever we are, whoever we are, has been all by your grace. Thank you, Father, that you have preserved us in your infinite mercy. Thank you that you have enabled us to cross all the orders the enemy has put ahead of us. Thank you because you gave us victory. We cross from January into February. We cross from February into the month of March. March into April. The month of April into the month of May. And in your mightiness, Lord, you have brought us into the month of June. The sixth month of the year. Please, our Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, according to your word, the Bible said in the sixth month, an angel visited Mary with a good news. I pray for myself and everyone under the sound of my voice this morning. Let this month be our month of divine visitations in the name of Jesus. Amen. As many that has waited and expecting the good news, I declare and I prophesy, this month you will receive the good news in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray and declare, your testimony shall be heard this month in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, we ask that you will be our gatekeeper. Amen. Lord, we ask that you will open the gate of righteousness unto us. Amen. We pray, Lord, that our joy shall be full this month. Amen. We ask, Lord, that you will speak to us. Amen. We ask, Lord, that you will build us with your word. Amen. We ask, Lord, that you will give us a direction. Amen. We ask, Lord, that you will sustain us. Amen. Let your name alone be magnified. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. And the people of God, we say amen. Amen. I want to welcome each and every one of us today to the presence of the Most High God and into the month of June. This is a month of favor, is a month of grace, is a month of divine visitation. Amen. I'm congratulating you as I congratulate myself that God brought us into this month so that his power can be made manifest in our lives. Regardless of what you have gone through, regardless of what you have seen. I am praying for you, I am prophesying. In this month of June, your testimonies shall be heard in the name of Jesus. Amen. This month, by the grace of God, the Lord has laid on our heart to go through a team. And that is the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper. And straight away, I want to encourage every one of us that are listening to me today. That do all that you can by the grace of God to make sure you connect with us this month. Because great mystery shall be revealed this month. I am believing God that by the end of this month, God in heaven will have visited your life. And those blessings that you, were, you ever thought cannot so come quickly. Because the gate will be open. You will assess them without stress in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. So I just want to start by way of introducing us into the topic. And this morning, I will be speaking to us on thanks to God, the true gatekeeper. Thanking God 
the true gatekeeper. I am sure that a number of us we understand when we talk about gatekeeping or a gatekeeper. A gatekeeper is simply any person that is in charge of a gate. He is there to identify, he is there to count, he is there to supervise the traffic or flow through that gate. In other words, is a person that controls the access to something. And sometimes it could be a thing. But the most important aspect is that it is controlling the inflow or outflow. Is there as a checkmate? Is there as a pilot? Is there as a guide? Is there as a protector? And that you will know straight away that the gatekeeper and the true gatekeeper can be no other person than God Almighty himself. In the book of Genesis, chapter number 7. Genesis, chapter 7. It was a story that I'm sure you are familiar with. God instructed Noah to build an ark. God gave him the dimension as is expected. Every instruction was given by God. And when the time came that they were to enter into the ark, something happened in verse 15 and 16. Genesis chapter 7, verses 15 and 16. The Bible says, And they went into Noah, the, and they went in unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. And they that went in, went in male and female of all flesh, as God has commanded him. And the Lord shut him in. And the Lord shut him in. In other words, we can say, and the Lord closed up the gate. We can say, and the Lord locked up the gate. You will remember the Bible said in this portion of the scripture that the wickedness of mankind at that time has gone so grievous and God could no more tolerate it. And God decided that he was going to wipe out everything living. But the scriptures recorded that Noah found grace. And which I believe to you we found grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so God made the way of escape. And God asked him to prepare an ark. But very profound is that God himself became the gatekeeper. There was nothing wrong because God has instructed him to build the ark. God could have also told him to lock up the ark by himself. But because God understood the intensity of what was coming upon the heart, the intensity of the forces and the power that will have to contend even with the ark that was already built. Remember that according to this scripture, when the rain and the flood came, it was just only that ark that, that, were, that floated on, on the water. Every other thing was submerged. If it has been Noah that shot that ark, if it has been Noah that is the gatekeeper, it will have been a different story altogether. Because the forces of the heart, the power of the heart, could have hijacked the gate from him. But thank God for a sure keeper. Thank God for a secure keeper. And that is why you need to give God the thanks. With everything that is happening all over the world today. If God has not shut you and I in. 
in that ark of safety. If the Lord has not kept you and I, it will have, if it has not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick. When their wrath was kindled against us. Praise the Lord. You can see what David is saying here. If it has not been God, it would have been a different story. And that is why it goes further in Psalm 127. Except the Lord build the house. The labor in vain that builds it. Except the Lord keep the city. The watchman waked, but it is in vain. Listen to me, brethren. If the Lord has not kept you, if the Lord has not preserved us, if the Lord has not shut us in, if the Lord has not been our keeper, we will not be here to tell the story. And that is why you and I must be filled with the art of gratitude. That is why I and you must be prepared to praise God and to worship Him. That God being our only Him, not only the fact that He has a gate that He can keep, every other gate recognizes and bow to Him. If you read the scripture in Psalm 24, verses 7 to 10, the Bible said, lift up your head, O ye gate, and be ye lifted up, and that the King of glory may come in. You can see from that scripture that apart from the fact that God himself has his own gate, every other gate recognizes him. Every other gate listens to him. Every other gate bow to him. And that is one of the reasons why you must also celebrate him. Because I don't know what are the gates of life that you are probably be struggling with. What are the gates in life that you have wanted that they will open to you? What are the gates in life that you have been struggling to open by your strength and by your wisdom? And it seems that this gate remain locked. I have a good news for you. The great gatekeeper will show up suddenly for you. And every other gate will begin to open of their own accord. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Have you been locked in sickness? Have you been locked in poverty? Have you been struggling with sin? Are you just there and you don't even know the way forward? This great God will appear on the scene for you this month. Amen. And that gate holding you captive will be opened. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Some of you may be telling me, how are you so confident and so sure of what you are talking about? It is because this God has done it before. Act of Apostles chapter 12. Act of Apostles chapter 12, verses 7 to 10. The Bible recorded a man was taken captive and he was locked inside the prison. The Bible even said there are bodyguards, several gate men that were kept, that were there to keep him. But it only took this great God to send one emissary. He only sent one angel. And the Bible said as soon as the angel landed in that yard, every gate began to open. Even our brother, Apostle Peter, the scripture recorded that he thought he was dreaming. When he was going through the gate, and all the gates were opening. When the gates were opening, it was like a dream to him. And the Bible said that when they got to the iron gates, I don't know what name your own gate is called. Whether it's a brass gate, it's an iron gate, it's a gate of metal. Whatever be used to make the gate, I have a good news for you. That that gate 
we obey the voice of God in your life this month. Amen. And that gate we hope on Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And that is why you need to give God the praise. That is why you need to exalt him. That is why you need to employ him. Because it is in your own praising him that you get God to begin to act on your behalf. It is in you moving closer to him that God begin to act on your behalf. And scripture told us that even to get to God, you must assess his own gate. Remember I said it earlier that God himself is a gatekeeper. If he's a gatekeeper, it means he has his own gate that he also keeps. And do you know without you going through that gate, you may not be able to reach God. Psalm 100, and, Psalm 100 verse 4. Psalm 100 verse 4 told us that God has a gate. And how can you enter that gate? In verse 4, Scripture says, enter into his gate with thanksgiving. Psalm 100, verse 4. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. If you must get God to arise for you, you must also assess his own gate. How do you assess the gate of God? With thanksgiving. With praise. Assess the gate of God. With worship. Assess the gate of God. With rejoicing. The Bible said in Psalm 118. Psalm 118. Verse 19. The Bible said. Open to me the gate of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. The name of the gate of God is gate of righteousness. If you will accept the gate of righteousness, therefore, you must assess with a righteous heart. Scripture says, Who shall ascend to the hills of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? Scripture answered the question. He said, He that hath a clean hand and a pure heart, he that has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. If you must enter into the court of the law, you must come with a clean hand. If you must enter into the court of the Lord, you must come with a purified heart. And that is why I want to encourage you this morning that please be determined to shun the life of sin. Please be determined to do away with worldliness. This is not a season to romanticize with sin. This is not a period that you should be enjoying the pleasure of sin for a moment. What are the things that you have been doing in secret? It appears that nobody is seeing you. But do you know that you cannot hide it from God? If you come to him, he will receive you today. And I can assure you if the Lord receives you today, he will open those gates for you. Amen. Your life will experience a turnaround. Amen. Have you been praying? Amen. Have you been fasting? Have you been studying the word? Have you been asking questions? Have you been saying, God, when will it be my turn? Have you been saying, Lord, how can I assess my blessing? God is saying that I am ready to man your gate. God is saying that I'm ready to open the gate for you. Do you know that it is always the best for you when you have a good gatekeeper? Because a good gatekeeper will only open the gate when blessings are coming. And it will shut the gate when evil are approaching. Unfortunately for many, 
they have handed over the reign of their gates to the devil. Some people are even themselves the custodian of their own gates. And they say, I know what to do. I know how to do it. And no wonder when the forces of darkness come, when the forces of the world and the challenges of earth arise, you begin to panic, you begin to run etter scatter. Why don't you surrender to God like Noah did? Why don't you allow God to man your gates today? Why don't you give him the time, the opportunity, the privilege? He will gladly take it. The Bible recorded Noah never struggled with him. He simply obeyed God. If you read that story, even from Genesis 7 to Genesis chapter 8, even after the flood, after Noah knew, because he set forth a dope to check if the water has fully been dried off the land, Noah never stepped out of that ark until the Lord instructed him to do so. Not until his commander, not until his gatekeeper instructed him to go out, he did not go out. Will you make God your gatekeeper? Will you, read, will you be ready to listen to his instruction? Will you want to stay where he asks you to stay? Will you want to go where he asks you to go? This is what the Lord is prepared to do for you and I this month. As we surrender to him. But fill your heart this morning with a heart of gratitude and celebrate him. Praise the name of the Lord and say, Father, I thank you. Worship him, exalt his holy name. Because this great God is about to do something that will make the world know that he has really visited you. So wherever you may be, if you want to give your life to Jesus, I'd like to welcome you to the gate of God this morning. I'd like to welcome you to the presence of the Most High. Just bow your head wherever you are and you say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Just tell him, Lord, forgive my sins. Tell him, Lord, I've been so ignorant. I have been the custodian of my gates. No wonder I'm facing these challenges. For Lord, I'm ready to offer and give all to you today. I'm ready to surrender like Noah did. Father, have mercy upon me. Why not begin to pray wherever you are? Say, Father, save my soul. Father, save my soul. Father, please pardon my transgressions. Lord, forgive my sins. Let your blood purify me. Let your blood sanctify me. Open your mouth and pray everywhere. If you have given your life to Jesus, why not pray and say, Father, I surrender to, to you today. Take charge of my gates. Take charge of my gates. I surrender my gates to you, Lord. I realize that you are the true gatekeeper. I will no more struggle with you. I surrender my gates to you, Lord. Please be in charge. Please be in charge. Pray everywhere this morning. Just begin to pray. Lord, I surrender. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. We told in nothing. We told in nothing. I surrender to you, Jesus, everything I give to you, Lord Jesus, we told thee nothing, we told thee nothing. holding anything. I, I surrender all to you, Lord. I surrender all. I surrender all. 
Father, I surrender all this morning. With all in nothing, I surrender all to you this morning. In the name of Jesus, I surrender to you, my gatekeeper. I surrender. I surrender to you this morning. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Lord, I pray for every one of your children that are surrendering their lives to you this morning. Haven't realized that they cannot keep the gate by themselves. I bring them to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your only begotten son. I pray that you will forgive their sins. I pray that you will have mercy on their iniquities. Amen. That the blood of Jesus will cleanse them. Amen. Today, Lord, I ask that you will accept them into the kingdom. Amen. Make them your children. Amen. And be their gatekeeper. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone that has listened to us this morning. And they are willing to say, Lord, take over. Father, I ask that you will step into our affairs. Amen. I ask that you will man our gates. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, precious King. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I don't know if you are there and you still want to worship the name of the Lord this morning. If you want to exalt him and say, Father, I am thanking you. The Bible said, enter into his gate with thanksgiving. And come into his court with praise. Why not lift up your voice and say, Father, I exalt you this morning. I come to your presence. I come to your gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I celebrate you, my king. If you have your own special song, you can sing to God. Just sing your song to him. Lord, say, Father, I worship you. There is none like you. You are the most high God. You are the eternal in the highest. You are the most high God. You are the everlasting God. You are the King of glory. You are the I am that I am, the unbeatable God. The Lord that cannot be shortchanged. God that cannot be demoted. Father, Lord, I praise you today. Blessed be your name, my Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Likato zandeli gaba kashaba tayanda. Leko soto bro doro boro boso tali gede. Ikaye gede lege de bende kesekete. Lege de boso bro soto yande lege de boso koto ya. Ila teke te yende lige de boko zateria. Ikaya ndala ba yanda ba kasa batayata. Father Lord, I worship you. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Father, we want to thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord. Eternal in the highest, our Lord and our Maker, we celebrate you. Yes, Lord. The true and the sincere gatekeeper, we bless your name. Hallelujah. The uncompromising God, we celebrate you this day. The God that cannot be bribed, the God that cannot be bought, we praise your holy name. Father, we thank you for explaining and expounding your word to us today. We thank you for opening our eyes to what you are intending to do in our lives beginning from today. We are grateful, Lord, that you are accepted to be the gatekeeper of our lives. 
Father, Lord, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, accept our praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. Alpha and Omega, we pray this morning that you will take over the reins in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beginning from today, be the custodian of every gate that leads into our destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we ask that you will man the gates of our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will man the gate of our success. Amen. Enemy will not be able to swindle us. Amen. You will man the gate of our health. Amen. Sickness will not be able to inflict our lives. Amen. You will man the gate of our prosperity. Amen. Our, our, our prosperity will not be judged by the enemies. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, career-wise, you will man our gate. Spiritual-wise, you will man our gate. Amen. Lord, psychologically, you will man our gate. Amen. We pray, Lord, in every of our endeavors, you will man our gate. Amen. Even in the ministry, you will man our gate. Amen. Lord, we ask that from today, you will shut us into our blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will shut evil away from our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray, Lord, that you will keep the gates of our lives. The sickness, pandemic, diseases will never penetrate in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will never be a slave to the devil again. Amen. We will never be a captive to the devil again. Amen. Enemies will not rejoice over us. Amen. As we go from this month, you will go ahead of us. Amen. You will lead and you will direct our path. Amen. We will record success. Amen. Your glory will be made manifest. Amen. Thank you, wonderful King. Thank you, Lord. And blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, our Father. Thank you. Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. And the people of God will say, Amen. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate every one of you this morning. Everyone that has joined us from wherever you have joined us, we want to celebrate you. We want to thank God for your life, and we're sure that God has visited you. The hand of the Lord has touched you, and you will not remain the same Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please keep dates with God in this month. Every Friday we have Bible study, beginning from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. EST, Eastern Time. It's always a time of exposition. Is a time that we dig deep in the Word of God. Join us and God will bless you. Amen. Every Thursday, we have a prayer meeting on a line, on a conference line. That is 6.30 p.m. to 7. 6.30 to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Join us and the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And every Sunday, we start the service at 9 a.m. And of course, we round up so quickly as you can see today. God will bless you as you join us in the name of Jesus. Amen. And every third Saturday of the month is a special prayer program in the morning. Between 7 and 8.30 in the morning. Every third Saturday, we lift up our voice together. Please join us and you will not be disappointed. Amen. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may want to send your donation. You may want to send your tithe. You may want to send your offering. Go through Zell account and use our email, the church email, rccg, Israel Assembly MD at gmail.com. rccg, Israel Assembly MD at gmail.com you can be sure that we will receive your donation and the Lord will bless you 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can we just bow our heads as I pray on our offerings and tithes? Father Eternal, we want to thank you for a privilege. Thank you, Lord. A grace that you have given us, Lord, to give back to you out of abundance that you have provided. Lord, even as we do obey your word, we ask that the blessings of the word will rest upon our lives. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Life will not be tight for us. Amen. The rest will be sufficient for Amen. us. We will not say, spend on sickness. Amen. We will not spend on diseases. Amen. I pray, Lord Almighty, Every hand that is given shall remain on top Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you financially you will not be stranded Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. The gate of blessing shall continually be open unto you. Amen. You will enjoy the support of God. Amen. You will find the favor with God. Amen. Wherever you go this month, doors of blessing shall open unto you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We give you praise and honor. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. God bless you. Whenever you have joined us today, I'd like to appreciate you one more time. Thank you for coming with us. And the Lord of heaven will continue to sustain you. Amen. Before I hear, until I hear from you, or we come your way again, remain blessed and rapturable. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.